myself dr m ayyappan assistant professor department of electrical and electronics engineering npr college of engineering and technology natham today we are going to discuss about the topic for bus admittance matrix with sample problems so the first one bus admittance matrix what is mean by bus admittance matrix so the bus admittance matrix is nothing but the matrix consisting of the self and mutual admittance of the network of the power system is called bus admittance matrix in this case self admittance and mutual admittance what is mean by self admittance and what is mean by mutual admittance self admittance is nothing but individual load mutual admittance is nothing but two different power system components are connected in these two power system components it will connect with one common point so that is mutual admittance like i will tell one simple example if you are considering one transmission line or transformer so in this case if you are considering the transmission line means the individual load it represents self admittance two different lines are connected in a single point that point is mutual admittance or otherwise you, you will consider for a transformer in this transformer primary and secondary is present that means primary winding and secondary winding primary winding is separate and secondary winding is present in that primary winding and secondary winding some inductance and capacitance is present but in the same primary winding and secondary winding is connected with the common point is core that core is in this case mutual admittance okay so the bus admittance matrix is nothing but the matrix consisting of the self and mutual admittance of the network of the power system is called a bus admittance matrix this is four cross four cross four matrix that means y11 y12 y13 y14 same as y21 y22 y23 y24 y31 y32 y33 y34 y41 y42 y43 and y44 so y bus is known as bus admittance matrix so y bus is bus admittance what is mean by impedance impedance is nothing but r plus jx r is nothing but resistance and jx is nothing but Re reactance any material the nature of some resistance is present in all those materials so r is present x is nothing but reactance so suppose we can connect some inductive load or capacitive load means at the time automatically some reactance is present in the same network so r plus j x term is impedance so the reciprocal of the impedance is called as admittance so in this uh, y bus admittance matrix the diagonal element of each node is the sum of admittance connected to it it is known as self admittance or driving point admittance y i i equal to summation j equal to 0 to n y i j y i i is nothing but diagonal matrix that means y11 suppose we go for the mutual admittance means the half diagonal element uh, is equal to the negative of the admittance between the nodes it is known as mutual admittance or transfer admittance that means y i j equal to y j i equal to minus y i j so y i j is different nodes that means 1 to 2 2 to 3 or 3 to 2 3 to 1 so that means the matrix the connecting node is different i will give some uh, examples for uh, self admittance and uh, mutual admittance self admittance is nothing but actually the individual node is connected to the various branches so the individual load node 1 node 2 node 3 so these are all the individual nodes this is self admittance and uh, mutual admittance is nothing but the different branches are connected in a single point like if you are considering one generator 
generator 1 and generator 2. So, the generator 1 and generator 2 is connecting with that one specific point or interconnecting with one specific portion that is mutual point. So, in this case mutual admittance is what your y bus matrix y i j equal to y j i equal to minus y i j. So, the matrix consisting of the self and mutual admittance of the network of the power system is called as bus admittance matrix. So, in this y bus admittance matrix two different methods are methods for forming y bus. One is the direct inspection method and the second one is the singular transformation method. What is mean by direct inspection method? So, based on that uh, different power system network, so the different nodes are connected for various points. So, easily they can form the equation and solving the equation. So, this is direct inspection method. Singular transformation method means the diagonal matrix are separately calculated, the individual matrix different mutual admittance matrix are separately cal calculated. So, this method is called as singular transformation method. So, in this case is z equal to r plus j x, z is impedance, r is resistance and j x is reactance. So, the reciprocal of the impedance is admittance. So, y equal to 1 by z, so z is equal to r plus j x, so 1 by z equal to 1 by r plus j x. So, r minus j x divided by r plus j x into r minus j x just to multiply with r plus j x divided by r minus j x. So, y equal to r minus j x divided by r square plus x square. So, y equal to r plus r square plus x square minus j into x divided by r square plus x square. So, finally, y is equal to g minus j b, g is nothing but conductance and b is susceptance. So, conductor, conductor is present equivalent to that of resistance and the susceptance is present equivalent to that of reactance. So, conductance is r divided by r square plus x square and the susceptance equal to x divided by r square plus x square. So, finally, y equal to g minus j b. So, y equal to r plus r, r divided by r square plus x square minus j into x divided by r square plus x square. So, this is a sample problem for bus admittance matrix. So, the first problem form the bus admittance matrix line i to j r and x. Line means individual lines r is resistance x is reactance. Resistance and reactance values are represented in terms of per unit. So, line i to j 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 2 to 3, 2 to 4 and 3 to 4. What is the meaning for 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 2 to 3, 2 to 4 and 3 to 4? The first line is connected with second line, the first line connected with third line, the second line connected with third line, the second line is connected with fourth line and the third line is connected with fourth line. So, the individual lines are connected with some other line. So, that is represented in line section that means line and the next one is R and X, R is resistance and X is reactance. In terms of impedance R plus J X, so R plus J X means 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.3. So, in the first line I minus J, the line 1 to 2 is in terms of impedance R plus J X is 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.3. So, this is the network diagram for a bus admittance matrix based on the tabular column value. So, I am going to draw the networks diagram. So, in this case for the first line 1 to 2. So, 1 to 2 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.3 is connected that means resistance plus reactance is connected in the 1 to 2 line as well as 2 to 3. 2 to 3 means 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.4 and 1 to 3 means 0 0.2 plus j 0 0.2 
and 2 to 4 means 0 0.3 plus j 0 0.4. So, based on the tabular column values, it represents the network diagram. So, y bus equal to y11, y12, y13, y14, y21, y22, y23, y24, y31, y32, y33, y34, y41, y42, y43 and y44. So, in these cases total number of buses 4. So, the matrix size is 4 cross 4 matrix. So, first we can calculate z12. So, what is the formula for z12 means r12 plus jx12, j12, 1 it represents the first line, 2 is represent the second line. So, the first line and the second line is connected with on the common point the value is z12 is 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.3. So, z12 equal to z 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.3. So, y12 equal to 1 by z12. So, the admittance is reciprocal of impedance. So, 1 by z12 equal to 1 by 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.3. So, y12 equal to 1 angle of 0. So, the starting voltage or initial voltage is 0. So, in this case consider 0 degree. So, 1 angle of 0 degree divided by 0 0.3162 angle of 71.3. 565. So, the rectangular form is converted into polar form. So, finally, we can get the results 3.16 angle of minus 71.568. So, finally, the polar form is converted into rectangular form y12 equal to 1 minus j3. So, for the same as like that y13 is calculated y13 is equal to 1 by z13. So, 1 by 0 0.2 plus j 0 0.2. So, y13 equal to 2.5 minus j 2.5. Next, we can calculate diagonal matrix of y11. So, y11 equal to y12 plus y13 plus y14. So, how that equation uh, is right means, so the y11 means individual y1 is connected with various lines. That means, second line is connected, third line is connected as well as fourth line is connected. So, the value of y12 is 1 minus j3 and the value of y13 is 2.5 and the value of y14 is j2.5. So, y11 equal to 1 minus j3 plus 2.5 minus j2.5 equal to 3.5 minus j5.5. Next, we can calculate y23 same as 1 by z23, the value is 0 0.5882 minus j 2.353 and y24 is calculated, y24 is equal to 1 by z24, the y34 value is 1.2 minus j 1.6 and the diagonal matrix for y22 is calculated, y22 equal to y21 plus y23 plus y24, the individual second line is connected with various line, first line, third line and fourth line. So, equivalent to that of second line, third line and fourth line is connected with one common point that equivalent to that of common point is second line. So, y22 is connected with various lines. So, in that y21 value is 1, 1 minus j3 and y23 value is 0 0.5882 minus j2.353 y24 value is 1.2 minus j 1.6. So, we can get the results for y22 equal to 2.7882 minus j 6.953. Next, y34 is calculated. y34 equal to 1 by z34. So, y34 equal to 1 minus j3. And the next one y33 equal to y31 plus y32 plus y34. The individual line, third line is connected with different line like first line, second line and fourth line. So, y31 connected point is 2.5 minus j 2.5, y32 connected line value r plus jx value is 0 0.5882 minus j 2.353 and y34 uh, uh, impedance value is 1 minus j3. 
So finally, we can get the results y33 equal to 4.0882 minus j7.853 and a diagonal matrix for y44 is calculated. So the y44 is 2.2 minus j4.6. Here self admittance and mutual admittance values are calculated. So, all the calculated values of self admittance and mutual admittance values are placed in 4 cross 4 matrix. So, this is the procedure for forming the bus admittance matrix. Thank you.